And uh, speaking of children brings me, of course, to that awful little girl who's become such a popular feature of our program. Here she is again with Hanley Stafford as her father, Baby Snooks. Hello, Daddy. Oh, Snooks, what are you doing up so early? What time is it? Well, it's not eight yet. Is it seven? No, it's after seven. Well, it comes after seven. I know it does, but it's different with telling time. Why? <laughs> Because it is. You have to figure with hours and minutes. There? On the clock. Here, look at it. What's those black things? Those are the hands. They point out the time. Where's the fingers? They don't have fingers. I got fingers. I know you have fingers, but those hands don't have any. Well, how can they point? Snooks, they just indicate the time. Now, look. Every time that big hand makes a complete revolution of the face... Oh, who? This face on the clock. That ain't a face. I tell you, it is a face. It ain't got a mouth. Oh, of course not. Has it got eyes? No, and it hasn't got a nose, and it hasn't got ears either. And you call that a face? Yes. Do you feel all right, Daddy? I feel fine. Will you stop interrupting me? All right, Daddy. Well, now look at the clock. The big hand is the minute hand, and the little hand shows the hours. Now, these numbers all around the face each denote a different hour. Are you following me? Where are we going? We're not going anywhere. I'm trying to teach you to tell the time. Now, do you see these numbers on the clock? Uh-huh. The number at the top is 12. When both hands point to 12, it's 12 o'clock. Understand? Uh-huh. Good. Now, what is it when both hands point to 12? I don't know. It's 12 o'clock. Is it? Yes. Oh. Now, I'm late for school. Oh, it's not 12 o'clock now. You just pay attention to what I'm telling you. All right, Daddy. Now, each time the big hand moves to another number, that's five minutes. And every time the little hand moves, an hour goes. Where does it go? Snooks, that has nothing to do with telling the time. All you have to understand is the movements of the hands. Now, let's see if you remember what I just explained. All right, Daddy. Here, now, look at this clock. Now, you see, the little hand is between the seven and eight, and the big hand is on the seven. Uh-huh. All right. What does the clock say? Tick-tock. <laughs> oh, it says 20 minutes to eight. And good heavens, I've got to get dressed and get to the office. Look out, Snooks. Are you going to shave, Daddy? Yes, and don't trail after me. I want to watch you. Oh, all right, but don't pester me with questions. Why? Because I'll get nervous and cut myself with a razor. I just keep quiet now. All right. Daddy! Ow! Why do you yell like that? See, I cut my face. Boy, look at that slice. It's a beauty. You like it, Daddy? <laughs> no, I don't like it. And I want you to let me finish, so don't make another sound. I won't. Remember now, Snooks, this razor is very sharp. Yes, Daddy. And will you be quiet? Uh-huh. Good. Now, just stand there and watch. All right. Daddy! Oh! Snooks, you made me cut myself again. Now, just get right out of here. I'll be quiet, Daddy. Well, you'd better. Hmm, this razor pulls. What you doing now, Daddy? I'm stropping the razor. Why? Because it's not sharp. Yes, it is. Well, how do you know? Of course, it's sharp and my pencil's all right. What? Now, listen. How many times have I told you not to take my razor from the box? I didn't take it from the box. I found it in the kitchen. In the kitchen? What was my razor doing in the kitchen? Mama was cutting a linoleum with it. <laughs> Snooks, I don't believe you. Now you're going to get a spanking. Why? Didn't you promise never to touch my razor? Uh huh. And didn't I promise to give you a spanking the next time you did? Uh huh. Well? Well, I didn't keep my promise, so you don't have to keep yours. Oh, no. You're not getting away with it this time, young lady. Come over here. There. Ah! You simply must learn to behave. Ah! There. All right, that's all. Ah! Oh, stop it. I didn't hurt you. <laughs> now, come here and kiss Daddy and say you're sorry. There. That's better. Now, Snooks, I want you to tell me why I punished you. <laughs> now, what's the matter now? That's just it. Just what? Please, you give me a lick and then you don't know why you did it. <laughs> Ted Pearson with some advice on coffee. 